You guys, believe it or not, this is guacamole. It's like the best smelling looking guacamole I've seen. Uh, and that says a lot because I love some guac. Uh, so we'll taste test in a moment, but let's talk about what we're doing here. Uh, we're talking about baseball and yes, Puesto at Petco Park. There's actually going to be tacos at Petco. Uh, as we know, reopening day is tomorrow. So many delicious options at Petco Park. And this year we can add Puesto to the list. So we have their executive chef Ian Tenzer joining us to share a few of your your favorite menu items. Good morning, Chef Ian. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Oh, so, I mean, we're, so we're exciting. People here in San Diego, we know we love uh, Puesto. We love that restaurant. Your tacos are so good. And I have not actually had this amazing guacamole yet at your restaurant. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, but let's talk about what you'll be doing at Petco. Um, you know, more fans will be coming to the seats here soon, more people to oh. feed. Uh, so tell us, how has it been so far? Tell us all about your new location. Uh, our two lo our two locations in Petco Park along first base and third base at field level. We're super excited to be serving our community at Petco Park. Um, we'll be featuring a chicken asado taco and our quesabiria taco. It's a short rib phrase. Um, we'll also have our, our Puesto Cadillac margarita um, mm. and we'll be featuring our Puesto perfect guacamole. Um, super strong menu items, super, there are trophy tacos. Um, we couldn't be more proud and humbled to continue to serve the San Diego community. I love uh, that. So right in front of you, Chef Ian, uh, if we could go back to your live shot there, tell us what you have right there. Let's look at it close up because I'm so in video. You want to see? Yeah, there it yeah. is. That's our chicken <laughs> asado taco. We're using Jidori chicken, um, oh. such an, an incredible product. Um, and we're going to, they're grilled hard, then quickly finish in the oven. I mean, this taco is lights out. Um, I think the fans so far at this at the stadium have been so pleased and so so excited to be back at yeah. Peso and in Petco Park. Uh, I'm um, sure you guys have this signature flavor and the like crusty thing that you put on. The tell us about that. Obviously, that's exactly. not a technical term. So we do our, our signature cheese twill yes. or our, our crispy cheese melted. Um, it's a Oaxacan style uh, cheese that we we toast on the plancha. Then we roll our, our chicken or our, our quesadilla, our short rib into, um, and then we'll finish it with our, our guacamole, our classic guacamole, a little fried pasilla, and a, a nice, beautiful cilantro plush. Um, yeah. All served on our Macienda blue corn. Huh. Um, I mean, th these tacos are, are, are projects and partnerships that we're super proud to be offering, uh, from the Macienda blue corn tortilla to our Jadori chicken, um, and, and our partnership with Petco. Yeah. Um, I, I think San Diego is very lucky that Puesto is here in town. You have a few locations, obviously outside of Petco, where your popularity has grown. Uh, let's talk about those spots too. What other locations do you have here in San Diego? I go to the one in La Jolla all the time, and I love yeah. the new outdoor setup. It's like taken over, and it's so nice to just go there and enjoy it. It's so wonderful to hear about our flagship and you enjoying our flagship at La Jolla. Um, so we do have our La Jolla location. We have a location down in Seaport Village, which is called our headquarters. It's in the old uh, police headquarters, um, historic building. And then we, our newest location, aside from Petco in San Diego, is our Mission Valley location. Um, I mean, the spaces are incredible. They all have so much character. Um, and wherever you go at Pesto, I, I feel like there's gonna, you're going to find an, an incredible vibe. Yeah. Um, that, that people are really looking for, especially. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, it's beautiful artwork too. I want to point out, Chef Ian, that you do with your tacos and your guacamole. Thank you. And what you can't hear right now, Chef Ian, is that a lot of chomping going on at the anchor desk. So Eric is telling back That's my there. ears, even hear, if it is in the background. Yeah, I hear chips crunching huh? nonstop. Let's mm -hmm. go to our anchors and see what they're up to. What, what are you guys doing over there? Um, oh, us? Nothing. Our investigative reporting. <laughs> investigative reporting. <laughs> You have all the salsas, right? I do. Yeah. Yes. Eric and Stella, what, what have you? Have you had some really spicy? So I've stuff? got yes. the, the the hot red one, and I got the chipotle red one, oh, and then okay. Netta, you got the Stella. green one. So I got Stella's the, got the habanero mojajete, and then our house mojajete. Those are house those are our staple salsas. Yeah. What is oh. what is this like? Um, reddish. It looks very oily. I'm afraid to touch it because it looks really spicy. Uh, oh, what's that one? That's our secret sauce. That's our black garlic chili oil. Um, and that. It's featured in our uh, our passion fruit shrimp ceviche. Okay. Um, Is it spicy? 
Do it's it's, it's a little bit spicy. Right. I mean, okay. for somebody that can handle quite a bit of heat, I think it's pretty mellow. But uh, for for your average Joe, I think it's 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 definitely uh, approachable. <laughs> yeah, it's approachable. It's approachable. You did it. <laughs> yeah, That's what I'm yeah, talking good. about. She yeah. said it's approachable. No, it's good. It, it has chili oil. Listen, I'm, uh, Eric was just making fun of me. He's like, "Didn't you live in Arizona? Aren't you married?" My, my mm -hmm. husband's Mexican. He loves <laughs> his spicy food, and I still can't handle you it. You still can't do it, huh? Uh-uh. So we've like confirmed it. approachability. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like to hear. Eric, like your approachability. Eric yes. loves his spicy food. You guys, oh, and then good. this guacamole has like pomegranate and mango in there. I'm all in. Bring it yep. over here. That's, mm. that's another uh, spin on a classic that Puesto loves to do. We love taking traditional menu or ingredients, items, uh, dishes, and putting our, our classic quest or our new mm -hmm. Puesto spin on it. That's our uh, guacamole nogada, excuse mm -hmm. me. Our guacamole nogada with pomegranate seeds, a little bit of mango pico, which is a fresh awesome. mango salsa, um, some walnuts, and uh, a little bit of uh, habanero powder. That's yeah, I mean, what that is. Chevia, this is awesome. We love your puesto twist on things. We appreciate it. And excited to see you at Petco Park. Reopening day, you guys, as you know, tomorrow. So it's a great time. Thanks for being on this morning. Thank you so much for having us. And we're, like I said, we're so excited to be serving the community yeah. at yet another location. We'll so. see you at Petco.